So creating libraries for easy EDA starts with physical components. When a new component is received, it is checked and registered in the system. Then, and this is very interesting, a special machine called profilometer or non-contact 3D measurement system is used to easily take measurements and document the component. I have, I had no idea something like this exists, actually. I was very surprised uh, to see how this works. Measurements are then sent to the engineer designing a footprint. Uh, the schematic, uh, symbol and 3D models are created in JLC PCB offices and then everything is put together. Also, for each component, a picture is taken. You know these pictures from LCSC website. When everything is done, the component is kept in stock until it is used on a board. And now, this is uh, very important. Once a component is used on a board, if during board assembly process a problem is found, the footprint is adjusted and corrected. And uh, I think this is uh, something Mm, something what uh, some companies creating libraries can't really do. This is something special for JLC PCB because they create the libraries and they also do the assembly. So they have the direct feedback about, for example, how good the footprints are. And, and this kind of uh, give me like extra confidence that the footprints what are in these easy the EDA libraries, they are really good. Uh, I have actually used Easy EDA and their libraries in number of uh, uh, project number of times, and uh, you know I always wondered how these libraries are created. So when I was visiting JLC PCB and I could actually see how they do that, you know, uh, I saw the people who create the footprint. I I saw the people taking the pictures for the LCSC website. I found this uh, super cool. So this was a very short behind the scene video to give you an idea how the easy EDA big libraries are created. And don't forget, if you would like to learn more about how to design boards, have a look at our online courses at federwell.com. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.